Welcome back to Living Local. The word floreciente means flourishing and blooming in Spanish, and one could say the same for an area here in Moline. Now, the floreciente neighborhood is making strides to make things more beautiful, and they're calling on the community to actually help them do so. So joining us here in studio today, we have Susana Aguilar from the Floreciente Neighborhood Association. So good to have you here. And then we also have mural artist who's no stranger to the show. We have Sarah Robb here in studio with us. And they're going to tell us more about what they've got going on so so good to have you both here thank you thank you of course so before we get into this event and you can see we're going to give our you know we're going to give it our best shot to paint <laughs> something as well Sarah's going to blow it out of the water I'm sure <laughs> but you, can you just tell us more about the background of the neighborhood and where exactly it's located in Moline too Yes, the Flores Santa neighborhood is located on the west side of Moline, just a little bit past downtown. Um, we're between downtown Moline and the border of Rock Island. Oh, nice. Awesome. And there's a lot of rich history there, too, as well. Yes, yes. We're definitely a diverse cultural neighborhood. Well, that is awesome, and that's something that you're working to highlight here in this event that we're going to be talking about, too. And so, uh, what this is a fun way that you can actually bring some vibrancy to the neighborhood. Tell us all about what it is that you are going to be doing. Well, every year we try to do some type of beautification um, project, community-led within the neighborhood. Um, and the, at those times, we do need an artist, so we call on Sarah Robb. Um, and she, she creates murals, and sh she gets the big picture idea and creates it. Oh, awesome. So are you going to kind of be leading people through what it is that they're going to be painting, or tell us about that? Yeah, um, so well, a lot of the community projects that we've done together, basically I come in as the, sort of the lead artist, I guess you could call it. Um, I do all the prep work, so when the volunteers show up, that's her responsibility, getting the volunteers, um, show up that there's, there's the drawings all laid out. Oh, so basically okay. it's kind of like paint by number, so all the different oh. skill levels, um, you know, no one feels overwhelmed. Um, we, keep it, we try to keep it as simple as possible, simple designs. Um, that way we've got little ones all the way up to whatever age that can come and join in on the fun. So. Oh, how cool. So yeah. it doesn't matter if you have no artistic skill sets. Absolutely. You are anybody to... can be an artist. I believe that. Sure. <laughs> well, I've heard like anybody can be a singer. Some are just better than others. Yeah, right. I don't know about the singing <laughs> thing. I won't <laughs> <laughs> We'll leave that to the singers. So. Well, let's start painting something. And when I say something, mine will probably be abstract. So let's go ahead here. Now tell us to um, when is the first painting event going to be taking place? So the, the first painting event will actually be taking place uh, this Saturday, June 4th. And then the second event where you can kind of pick your own color and paint will be June 11th, and that's when Sarah Robb will be leading us. Oh, fantastic. So a couple different opportunities for people to come out and help with this. Correct. And then also with this, we will also be planting flowers in our big city flower pots. So um, come with your gloves and, and ready to get your hands dirty because we have some beautiful uh, arrangements of flowers that need to be planted as well. Oh, fantastic. Now, um, in terms of the painting, Sarah, uh, do people need to bring anything, uh, like any materials, to help with that? No, not at all. I supply everything. Oh, good. I'll have all the paint will be uh, pre-mixed, ready to go. I hand off the paint and the brushes. Um, yeah, yeah, so everything will be there. They just have to show up and paint. Oh, okay. that easy, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So once again, you don't need a skill set. You can just come and have Oops. a good time. Yeah. And you don't need to bring in anything except if you're going to come help plant bring some gloves so yep. it makes it easier absolutely <laughs> now you're also teaming up with the river action as well so tell us more about that yes so river action had um, collaborated with other nonprofits um, here in Moline to create a safety trail from the floaty Santa neighborhood to Sylvan Island oh okay. um, if you're unfamiliar with Sylvan Island it's just adjacent um, next to like Rock Island Moline border so um, in there, there is bike trails and walking trails. Um, and there's two entrances to kind of get to Sylvan Island. One is adjacent to the tax layer, um, which is kind of the beginning mark of our neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And then also the second is on First Street. That is kind of the main entrance. So it's right there on the border of Rock Island, Moline. Oh, nice. Well, that's nice to know that there's now a safe pathway for that, too, because that's really important, keeping people safe while they're out enjoying the outdoors. Correct. Yeah, the, the path has always been there, but we just want to make sure that it's up to safety and sprucing it up as well. Good, good. And lastly, to both of you, how do you think that 
doing a simple act like this, you know, doing kind of a craft together, helping, oh yeah, here's my abstract moment. <laughs> <laughs> um, doing a craft together and bringing people together to paint or to plant flowers. How do you feel that this is actually making a difference in the neighborhood? Well, I've, I believe volunteerism is, is very important within a community. And when you volunteer together, you become neighbors together. Absolutely. I agree 110%. And do you feel like it's special too when you can actually come together and create art, Sarah? Oh yeah, absolutely. I think a lot of times over the years people will stop and they'll be checking out a mural I'm working on or they'll say, oh, I wish I could be a part of something like that. So when these kind of projects occur, I think they get a little bit more invested in their community, invested in their neighborhood because they were a part of the project. Oh, yeah. You know, so I, I get that a lot where people are like, oh, I w how can I get involved or how can I do this too? So people like Susanna making things happen brings everyone together on that level. So it's, it's a lot of fun. It's it a is. lot of fun. Yeah. Bringing people together through art and, I, you know, mine, I don't know what I'll do with mine. I'll, I'll put it on display. Yours is beautiful. You both are. You I am just doing polka dots because I'm just trying to not <laughs> outshine you guys. No, I'm just kidding. I'm totally joking. I'm totally joking. She's trying. I don't know what. I just thought polka dots would be fun. Yeah. A little bit of rainbow. Fun. Yeah. They look really good. How's your flower going? My flower is going well. I'm just <laughs> artist yeah. did the outline <laughs> for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> her name is Sarah Rob. <laughs> Book her for all of your mural, mural needs. All right, ladies. Thank well, you. thank you both so much for coming on the show today. Absolutely. And previewing this awesome event. There's, there's so many good things happening here. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Thank yes. you. Of course. Now, you can keep tabs on everything that we just talked about by actually checking out the Welcome to Flor Ciente uh, Facebook page right there on your screen. And we'll also have all of those details posted over on our website, too, at ourquadcities.com.